while you are increasing productivity and excitement, at the same time, cost of the, the office expense goes down on the average like 40%. So from CFO point of view and CEO point of view, uh, it's great to have 40% reduction in cost. And at the same time, employees' satisfaction uh, on, of the workplace increased dramatically, like 30% increase in uh, happiness of working, working place. It's beauty in both sides. But right now they're losing money. Oh, Accounting-wise, okay, because they're growing so quickly and they're investing into the capex, right? Yep. But uh, it's a recurring revenue. It's ongoing recurring revenue. It's like a subscription. You know the subscription of uh, magazines or newspaper and now Netflix. Netflix is still losing money, but the value of the company is tremendous compared to other media right. companies. It is based on the ability to continue to attract subscribers that yes, they value at this point. Subscriber growing and you know recurring. Right. right. So the initial investment is just an initial investment. And uh, Facebook was losing money even post IPO for a while. For a while. And once they start making money, it's dramatical. Because the basic cost of the uh, uh, customer acquisition or in, uh, innovation is uh, not that growing exponential. It's almost flat. Uh, so initial cost is high and almost flat. But the revenue from the recurring subscription goes exponentially. Did you want to invest more in WeWork? Uh, of course, of course. Were you disappointed you were not able to or that some of your investors, this has been reported, tried or succeeded perhaps in saying don't invest as much as you want? Well, you know, I still want to invest more and I want to increase. Uh, some of my investors said, Masa, you, you get too excited and too much concentration into one company. Don't go too far too much. But I, I still, uh, you know, I'm so excited and uh, if I could increase, I would like to increase. I want to talk a bit about SoftBank itself, which we haven't really uh, gotten to. Um, how much time are you spending running SoftBank versus thinking just about the investments for the Vision Fund or even for, for SoftBank itself? So I was a CEO, uh, direct CEO of operating company. Uh, so I spent 97% of my mind and the time into running operation. 3% I kept investing. But now I am opposite. 97% uh, just purely running investments uh, and 3% taking care of the rest of the operations. So, so hardly any. Well, you made the point at your last, in, your last investor call or video that SoftBank is not as complex as people seem to right. think or as it might once have been. You kept talking about it. Yes. You showed that big board of equations, but yes. then you came back to E equals MC squared. Yes. Um, and you also kept talking about 25 minus 4. Yes. <laughs> Shouldn't yes. equal 9. It right. should equal 21. Are you frustrated with the way the market has been valuing mm, SoftBank no. and the underlying assets? No, I'm not frustrated. Uh, people need some time to digest. Uh, what the true value of uh, SoftBank. Uh, I'm, I'm not a seller of our share. Uh, in fact, we are a buyer of our own share. You, bought, you announced yeah. the buyback that yes. was well received in yes. the marketplace. So I, I'm not frustrated. It's an opportunity for me. I have a big smile when, we, when I, I can buy back shares uh, at the price attractive in my view. But you also made a, a point of going through the debt level. Because a lot of people look at SoftBank, it seems, and say Masa is the biggest risk taker. He always has been. He almost went belly up in 2000 when the yes. dot com exploded. Yes. Uh, and it could happen again because of how much debt you have on your balance sheet. What do you say when you hear that? Well, I say thank you for worrying about me, uh, worrying about our company. Uh, I have a confidence in running in balance. Uh, that's why I, I explained uh, in my last uh, uh, quarterly result announcement, uh, people get confused. 
when we uh, consolidated accounting, uh, the debt of our uh, portfolio family companies is considered as a debt of the parent. It's actually not. Each of the company has independent accounting and independent uh, balance sheet and independent ability to pay back their own debt. Uh, and if you are 50% owner, 51% or owner of that company, the debt in accounting get consolidated into the parents. Uh, but parents' debt, soft and group debt, is actually roughly $4 billion. Our asset is uh, $25 billion. So $25 billion asset minus $4 billion debt that's a healthy, healthy situation and uh, lots of uh, excess value that we have. Right. And, but you're not frustrated that the market doesn't seem no, to I'm, I'm see that. I'm smiling. Yes, because, you are. Because, because I am a buyer. If I'm a buyer, I want to buy cheap. So that's, that's a great news for me. And finally, let's end on uh, the greatest investment maybe that was ever made. You know what that is. Mm -hmm. Alibaba. Oh, yeah, 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 Alibaba, fantastic. You, you, you going to monetize any more of that? I'd like to own as, uh, as long as possible. It's still growing 40% a year in revenue, and the profit will continue to, you know, sky, skyrocket. So you believe that? You believe I, the I, growth I, potential for Alibaba just continues unabated for years to come? I, I am totally a believer. And Jack's no longer being sort of at the helm. Uh, in, is that matter? Does Jack Ma's kind of departure, I mean, from the company make a difference? For a long time, uh, he was telling me uh, that, you know, his, his style is to let the people under them, young people, uh, arise and grow uh, as quickly as possible so that he would not... Uh, have to do day to day, uh, and he can still think uh, philosophical.